So over here, let me just bring in a few shapes right here. So you can see that these are what I have right here and they are not equally distributed right now. So let me just go around and select all of these and apply a color to them over here as well. Let me apply a darker color this like this. You can go around over here onto, let's say, a range right here. And let me just go around, align it into the middle right here. So you can see that the difference between the uh, between the spaces of the shape from the left side and the right side right here, you can see they are not equal. If I were to go around over here onto, uh, let's say, a range right here, then you can see distribute is an option. And you can go around and distribute it horizontally, as you can see, and whatever shapes are in between with reference to the leftmost shape and the rightmost shape, you can see that it is being arranged right here. Let me just go around and change out the uh, uh, shape spaces right here. Then you can go around onto arrange, onto distribute, and then you can see horizontal spacing, and this is what you have right here. Let me just go around over here and arrange this out right here, just like this, and select all of these right here. Go to arrange, and I'm going to go around right here, align it to, let's say, the center right here. You can see that the spacing is not equal, so you can just go around over here, and then distribute everything vertically over here as well. Apart from that, you can see the spacing right here horizontally as well. So let me just go around over here, just like this, select all of these out, go around onto distribute, spacing vertically, then you can see that you can arrange those out over here just like this as well. So if even if everything is random right here just like this, you can go around and select it, go around onto distribute, arrange everything horizontally, as you can see right here. So horizontally, they are all equally spaced. And then you can go around, distribute everything vertically over here as well. And then you can see it arranges out the spaces vertically on that scale as well. So that is how you can go around and utilize the shape distribution options inside of diagrams.net. So I hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.